Hey everybody, Varun here from Language Academy. Guys, very excited to be back. This is the part two of our reading practice series. In this video, we are going to cover 10 more reading drag and drop blanks. One section, reading is one section a lot of students do struggle with, a lot of students find difficult. What we are going to do in this practice series, I'm going to solve 10 reading drag and drop blanks. I'm going to give you one passage. I'll give you two minutes for that. After that, I'll solve that particular passage and will give you the reasoning that why this particular answer is the right answer. So without any further delays, let's get started. What you need to do in the two minutes we'll be providing you, you need to solve the passage or the reading fill in the blanks passage. Note down your answer and then compare your answers and see how um, much accuracy you get and what you should be aiming for. So without any further delays, let's get started. Let's have a look on my screen here. So I'll share my screen. This is um, Language Academy's portal, LS portal. You just need to go on if you want to use it. You just need to go on languageacademy.com.au, register for free and start practicing. You'll get free AI evaluation. Now I'm doing one drag and drop um, mock test. I've got 10 reading drag and drop blanks here. Let's start. This is number one. I'll give you two minutes for this. And after two minutes, we'll discuss few of the grammatical rules and we'll also look at the right answers. All right, let's have a look at the answers. Although the output per hour of work has more than dash since 1945, leisure seems dash largely for the unemployed and underemployed. Those who work full time dash as much time on the job as they did at the end of World War II. In fact, working hours have dash noticeably since 1970, perhaps because real wages have dash since that year. Um, now the passage is not that clear. You are not able to figure out whether work has increased or decreased. So that's why I'm reading each and everything. Bookstores now abound with manuals describing how to manage time. Now last sentence of this passage says how, how to manage time. Now if you are talking about how to manage time means you don't have enough time. Means your work has increased. So the passage is talking about the increased workload. Although the output per hour of work has more than what? More than you always say, um, more than tripled, more than doubled. You'll never say more than two times, right? More than twice you can say. Um, but let's have a look at what is the right answer. Although the output per hour of work has more than dash since 1942. What do you always use with since? More than twice or more than doubled. You always say this has more than doubled since 1953. So doubled will be the right answer. Why doubled? Because the passage is talking about the work. Work has increased. 
So we have to use a word which shows or signifies that something has improved or increased dramatically. Leisure seems dash largely for the unemployed and underemployed. I'm not sure about this. Um, let's don't worry about it. Let's move on to the third blank. I always do this thing whenever I'm not really sure. I leave it and I fill that particular thing at the end. Those who work full time dash as much time on the job as they did at the end of World War Two. What do you do with time on work? You spend time on work. So spend will be the right answer. Not reserved, not stressed, not stressing. You always spend time on job. In fact, in fact, working working hours have dashed noticeably since 1970. Have what? Have stagnated. Um, you won't say that have stagnated um significantly or noticeably. Stagnated means kind of remain the same. So there's nothing to notice in that. Gone up can be the right answer. You'll never say have twice. You can say numbers are twice, not have twice. So this will be incorrect as well. By default, we have got gone up means working hours have increased since 1970. Perhaps because real wages have dashed since that year. Bookstore, bookstores. I'm not really sure about um this one as well. So I'll just move on to the last one. Bookstores now bound with manuals describing how to manage time and cope with what you'll cope with. You'll cope with stress. Right. So we will what we'll do, we'll deal with time, we'll manage time and we'll deal with stress. Now we are left with two blanks, right? Real wages have what real wages? What will do? What will be the thing with real wages? Um, either they'll be um, we'll use the word stagnated or you will use the word reserved. Now, if we use the word reserved, it won't really make any sense. Why? Because reserved is a term used for something which is limited, right? So wages, we have to use a word which is associated with numbers. Wages go up, wages remain the same, wages decrease. Stagnated will be the right answer. Have stagnated. So most probably with have, you use the word ed, right? Ed. And now we have got one blank left. Although the output per hour of work has more than doubled, ed, second part of this sentence, layer seems dash. We are likely to use the word with ed as well. How many words do we have with ed reserved? That's it. That's how you solve it. First of all, make sure you fill the blanks you're sure about, the easy ones. That will reduce the number of options um, on the bottom of your screen. And then once you're left with less number of options, it will be very easy for you to select the right answer. Let's move on to number two. I'll give you two minutes for this. Make sure you give your 120%, understand the context, and then I'll explain you the answers. Let's get started, please.
all right what is the passage talking about here global temperatures began to rise slowly after 1850 with the beginning of modern warm period there was a dash migration for from europe a dash migration now we have got article we have got migration over here the word in the blank will give us more information about the word migration for example this is a dash tv this is a beautiful tv this is a dash process this is a complicated process this is a fast process so we are going to use a word which will give us more information about migration what is the right word which will give us more which is giving us more information about migration or the process you can use unprecedented you can use intensive you won't use fell famine vast can be the right answer you won't use floods you'll never say a rate migration or you can not use effective as well because with effective you need to have article an now either this this or this with intensive and unprecedented you have to use article an because with words starting with a e i o u you have to use article an by default we are left with vast let's place it here a vast migration from europe by land hungry farmers and others to which the dash caused by the irish potato blight contributed to caused by caused is a negative word we have to use something negative over here let's have a look at the negative options unprecedented means um something which was not forecasted but again we don't know what is caused caused will be an event he caused a problem intensive again adjective fell won't be the right answer famine can be the right answer is a negative word or floods we have got two options floods and famine we don't have any information about floods anywhere in the passage we'll go with famine because they're talking about land hungry farmers um they are, are signifying something of poverty over here millions of hectares of forest and woodland dash what will happen with forest with the axis axis a tool um which is used to cut trees right what will you do to forest using ax you will cut them off what is the right word fell forest fell before the newcomers ax is be between 1850 and 1890 as dash european farming methods what is the right word with methods either effective or intensive effective is always used for a process and method you always use this is an intensive method farming you always say intensive farming methods um you can also use the word effective with method but yes uh, effective is something more related with the result intensive is more related with the process so this is an intensive way of studying not effective way effective is more used for something which is going to give us results intensive farming methods expanded across the world the dash land clearance released vast quantities of carbon dioxide i'm um, now something negative is happening over here effective land cl clearance won't give us carbon dioxide if it's effective it will give us something positive rate land won't make any sense the floods land won't make any sense by default we are left with unprecedented unprecedented means something which was not for forecasted or which we never thought of so that is how you have to solve this if you have got all of these correct very well done if you have got one incorrect nothing much to worry about but if you have got more than one incorrect please make sure you go through all the rules i have released around 15 grammatical rules in the previous video um make sure you go through that note down all the rules and practice around 25 reading blanks every day on languageacademy.com.au let's move on to the next one make sure you take 2 minutes and get your answers correct
All right, let's have a look at this one as well. What is the passage talking about? It may take even more than dash in the financial and cultural structures of employment for workers successfully to dash increase productivity and money for leisure. It may take even more than dash. More than give won't make any sense. More than provide won't make any sense. More than changes can be the right answer. More than good won't make any sense. More than bias. I'm not really sure about the first one. I'll move on to the second one. Cultural structures of employment for workers successfully to dash increase productivity and money. So dash increase productivity and money for leisure time. So we are getting productivity and money for the time we are giving up. So what we are doing, we are giving up one thing for some other thing. For example, you'll have to pay me money for the goods. So what we are doing over here to dash productivity for leisure time to trade. Trade means give up something in order to take something. So trade productivity for leisure time. She says the US market for dash has become skewed with the assumption of full time to career households. I'm not really sure about the third one for now. Let's leave it. Automobile dash no longer manufacture cheap models. Okay, some um, we are talking about people who are making automobiles over here. So what is the right word? Automobile developing automobile buyers. No, they're not making it. Automobile mi microprocessor won't make any sense. Makers can go someone who is manufacturing something good changes provide and give won't make any sense. Let's go on to for makers. No longer manufacture cheap models and developers do not build the tiny bungalows that serve the first post war generation of home. Okay, if I'm making a bungalow and I'm serving you for me, what you are, you are my buyer. So you are my home buyer, home buyers, because they do not make small houses to serve the generation which they used to do when um, they used to serve first post war generation. Not even the humblest household object is made without a dash without a dash not really sure let's move on a uh, you'll have to use noun over here all right let's solve it this way with articles you use noun how many nouns we have give provide changes good in one term can be adjective one term can be um, um noun as well a good means a thing microprocessor is a noun as well so either good or microprocessor let's read the next sentence as core notes the situation is curious inversion of the appropriate technology technology which is the word related with technology good or microprocessor microprocessor let's place it here vision that designers have had for dash countries which countries give countries provide countries changes countries good countries or developing countries developing countries is the right collocation you always have a vision you always have hope you always have ideas and hopes for developing countries now we are left with two options now, let's solve the um, third one first. She says the US market for dash. Market for give won't make any sense. Market for provide won't make any sense. Market for changes, no. Nah. Market for good, that's it. Market for good means where you um, buy and sell things. Then you have got, it may take even more than dash in the financial. More than what? More than give won't make any sense. More than provide won't make any sense. More than changes. In the financial and cultural structures of employment for workers to work successfully or trade successfully. So there should be some changes in the current structure of employment so that workers can trade productivity for their leisure time. So this is the right answer. Um, was a bit tricky, but you have to follow this strategy. Fill the ones you are sure first and then move on to the next ones. You are going to solve it easily. Make sure after article A and or the you have to use noun or if there is a blank between article A and a noun you have to use adjective. Adjective is a word which gives more information about nouns. So that's how you solve it. Let's go on to next one. I'll give you two minutes for this as well.
All right, let's have a look at this one as well. On the dash are optical com computers. On the traveling, on the journey, um, computers won't make a journey. On the work, on the means, on the store, on the horizon, on the travel, on the function. Remember this thing, this is a phrase, very common phrase in English, on the horizon. On the horizon means something which is approaching very fast. So on the horizon will be the right answer here. Please be very careful. Other Any other word won't even make sense over here. These could dash programs. So these are computers over here. Optical computers. These could dash programs and profess information by dash of light pulses. By dash of light pulses from tiny lasers rather than electrons. And the pulses would dash over glass fibers, not copper wires. So instead of copper wires, the pulses are now dash over glass fibers. What will pulses do? Would traveling, would journey, would work over? No, um, you know, pulses won't work. Pulse is something which travels from one place to another in terms of computer and in terms of electricity as well. Um, we have the word travel or traveling. You'll never say I would traveling. You'll say I would be traveling. So would travel over glass fibers, not copper wire. These machines could dash hundreds of time faster. So the new optical computers can work thousands or hundreds of time faster than the um, current or the modern day computer. So what will be the right word? Traveling, journey, work means to function. Computers always function. We are left with one word. These could dash programs. What? Oh, sorry, two blanks. What will computer do with programs? They won't travel. They won't journey. They won't work programs. They will store programs and information. So information is always stored in the computer by dash of light pulses, by traveling, by journey, by work, or by means. Yes, the information is stored by means of light pulses. For example, what does this means? Um, the computer or the optical computers will store information using the light pulses from tiny lasers rather than electrons. So the passage talks about the functioning of computer was not tough, but you have to eliminate the options and be very careful with the phrases. On the horizon means something which is coming very fast. Store, you will always store information. Means of light pulses means using that technology. Pulses will travel in the fibers, not in the wires anymore. For example, we always say electricity travels through wire, not, um, but over here, the new computer, in the new computer, it won't travel in copper wire, but instead it will travel in glass fibers and machine can function 100 times faster. So this was our passage number four. If you have got this correct, very good. If not, even if you have one mistake, you need to be serious. This wasn't a difficult one. Let's move on. Make sure you leave your answers in the comment section before looking at the explanation. Two minutes for this, please.
all right um this passage is a bit complicated once we have got one and we have got few difficult words in the options let's do it um, let's do it animatronics refers to the use of robotic devices to dash a human or an animal so there's a robotic device dash to dash a human to first form right there should be first form here but most of the options we have first form itself um but we need to have a verb here how many verbs we have lost is not a word verb inanimate is not a verb motionless is not a verb motionless is again adjective inanimate is adjective emulate is verb we only have one verb let's but still let's um read the passage a human or an animal or bring life like characteristics to an otherwise dash object so they are bringing um life like or motion to an object which is lacking any kind of motion or they are bringing life like characteristics to a robot so dash object which object either motionless or inanimate remember this thing the right collocation is inanimate object inanimate means something which doesn't really moves or doesn't really has any kind of life or movement within itself so they are bringing life like characteristics to an inanimate object a robot designed to be a dash can to be a convincing imitation of a human is more specifically labeled as an android modern animatronics and have dash app widespread applications in movie special effects and dash parks all right let's leave this one as well which parks you always say you always say theme parks this one was easy we have solved it now we are left with two blanks right okay first one will have verb first form how many verbs we have you only have one verb emulate that's it to emulate emulate means to copy kind of so they are making a robotic device to copy humans and bringing life like characteristics to an to or to a motionless object but you won't really use the word motionless because with object you always use the word inanimate inanimate object not motionless object inanimate object means something which cannot move by itself or which doesn't really has any kind of power or life uh, meaning is almost similar as motionless but the right collocation is inanimate object now modern animatronics and have dash applications lo not lost applications because it is being used for in movies for special effects motionless application won't make any sense and inanimate application again it's used with object found application why found because they have designed a robot and now they have discovered that this can be used to give special effects in the movies and can be used in theme parks as well so this is the right answer was bit tricky not difficult i'll say bit tricky but if you use the right um rules you solve it using the elimination method and you fill the blanks you are sure about first you will be easily able to solve each and every blank in the given passage let's move on to the next one number 6 i'll give you 2 minutes for this as well let's go on guys
All right. Um, let's have a look at the answers. Was not that tricky. I think you um, probably solved this in a minute or half. For the first time, dictionary publishers are R I N G form or E D form. How many words we have with I N G or E D? Incorporating and developing. Real spoken English. You won't develop spoken English. You will incorporate spoken English into your dictionary. Incorporate means adding. Develop means you are inventing something new. Spoken English into their data. It gives dash brackets people who write dictionaries. For people who write dictionaries, first of all, we have got people means we'll use a word which is plural over here. How many plural words we have? Writers and lexi lexicographers. Um, writers is not the right term for people who are writing dictionary. The proper term is lexicographers. Even if you are not sure, you should be able to eliminate it because writer. If I am writing an essay or writing a poem, I am a writer as well. Or writing a story, I am a writer as well. But I am not a person who is writing dictionary. So particular term will be lexicographers. Access to a more vibrant, up to date dash language which has never really been studied before. So there's a language which has not been studied before that is being incorporated as spoken English into the modern day dictionaries. Now, writer's language won't be the right answer. Developing language won't be the right answer. Facility language is nothing. Um, lexicographer's language, again, you won't say that person who writes language because lexicographer is a term used for people who work on dictionaries. We have only one word, vernacular. Vernacular means um, language which is most often spoken in a particular region or a country. For example, English is a vernacular of Australia or US or UK. Hindi is vernacular in North India. So vernacular language means something which is spoken more often in an area or particular geographical location. Now, how did I solve it? R I N G form S because we have got people who write dictionaries. We were only left with one word. We had to use um, a word which gives us more information about language. None of these the leftover options for giving any information about language. Even if I am not sure about vernacular, what does it mean? I'll just select this and move on because this is the only option which we are left with. All right, guys, that was number six. Two more minutes for the next one. Make sure you give your 120% and leave your answers in the comment section, please. Now let's have a look at the answer. In the US where energy dash homes became popular after the oil dash of 1973, 10,000 underground houses have been built. A terrace of five homes, Britain's first subterranean dash, is underway in Nottinghamshire. Um, it lays outstanding example of subterranean architecture in the... All right. 
Now let's um this is not that difficult one. I have got bit of gist of the passage. I have got bit of understanding how they are um talking about the changing um mode of energy in UK. What is being changed and how are people reacting to it? In the US, or oh sorry, US, not UK. In the US, where energy dash homes became popular, so energy dash homes are becoming popular after the oil dash. So, if something is energy is becoming popular after oil dash, means something negative happened with oil. Let's have a look at the let's have a look at one of the negative options, which will go with oil. Oil situation, oil contents, oil conventional, oil faca facade, oil comprises. All the oil crisis will be the right answer, and energy. What is the right word we use with energy? Energy efficient. You always say this is energy efficient. This light is energy efficient. So why energy efficient homes are now popular after the oil crisis? Oil crisis means whenever there's shortage of oil or pr oil prices go very up, uh, up you can't really afford it. That is referred to as oil crisis. So after the oil crisis of 1973. The energy efficient homes became popular in the US. A terrace of five homes retains first subterranean dash is underway. Underway. What will be underway? Situation will not be underway. Contains will not be underway. Conventional is old. Won't be underway. Facade is um facade is a word or term used for the front face of the house. So it won't um you know face of the house won't be underway. Comprises won't be underway. Development can be underway. Conventional can be underway. I'm not really sure. Let's leave it. Let's come on to the next one. It dash eighty two one bedroomed apartment. It now we have got it and blank. If you have got a blank after it, you'll have a plural word. For example, it plays an important part. You'll never say it play an important part. Let's have a look at um any word which has got s. It contains. Conventional it comprises it the contains or comprises contain is always used for physical things which you can pack in a box for example the box contains ten chocolates but comprises the house comprises of ten bedrooms you'll never say the house contains ten bedrooms because we are talking about bedroom apartments we'll use comprises here it is built into a hill and little can be seen from outside except a glass as I told you facade is a word used for the front face of the house so they can only say see a bit um of glass from the outside and they cannot see anything else inside the house so a glass facade a resident since 1992 says it is little different from living in a dash apartment okay living um in the house built into a hill is different from living in a dash apartment situation apartment no contains apartment won't make any sense conventional apartment can be the right answer conventional means um something of old fashioned or something which is going on for years a development apartment you'll never say a development apartment you'll say a developing apartment a dash apartment a con conventional apartment seems to be the right option let's place it here we are left with one blank is underway situation is underway no because they're talking about five homes If the if I'm talking about homes and if I say these um these are underway, what I'll be talking about? I'll be talking about construction of home is underway. So we have got the closest word development is underway. This is the right um answer for third blank and these are the right answer for the passage. Energy efficient homes, oil crisis, development is underway. So these are the right answers. Efficient homes, you always say energy efficient homes. You always say oil crisis because efficient homes are becoming popular instead of oil, and why development? Because they're talking about homes and it is underway, so development will be underway. It comprises why not contains because we're talking about house and you'll never contain bedroom. You'll always comprise of bedrooms. Facade why facade? Because they're talking about only we can see a bit of glass dash from outside. What you can see ah. Uh, from outside of a house you can see the front face of the house which is referred to as facade and in a dash apartment it is different so living on the hill is different to living on the hill is bit different to as we live in a conventional means old fashioned or traditional apartment so these are the answers if you have got this correct very well done if not make sure you practice because this is one of the very important task of your exam 
all right let's move on to number eight i'll give you two minutes for that as well and after that we are going to discuss the answers two minutes on your screen please make sure you give your best and after that have a look at the answers All right, let's have a look at the answer. What is the passage talking about here? The spoken corpus computer shows how inventive and dash people are when they're using language. Inventive and. So we have to use a positive word and something which will signify the properties or characteristics of humans. Make people, made people, using people. Humorous can be the right answer. Reveals people, twisting people, time people. No, we only left with humorous. Humorous means kind of a funny in one sense. So how inventive and humorous people are when they're using language by dash familiar phrases for effect. What do we use or what do we do to language to give it more of a humor and effect? What do we use? Um, what do we do with the phrases or dialogues you can say? You can cannot say by make familiar phrases by made by using familiar phrase phrases. If you say that using it the right answer You'll never say they're using language by using phrase, phrases. No, they're doing something with the phrases. What they're doing, they're twisting it by twisting the familiar phrases. For example, um, if I'm tell, telling you, you are a good boy, but I'm just twisting the words. I'm just adding a bit of sarcasm to it. So it will twist the message and it will give a different effect to you. Right. So what that's what they're talking about in the passage over here. They are using the language by twisting the familiar phrases for effect. It also. Now we've got it. You are likely to use word ending with is. For example, it also plays an important part. It also. How many words we have got with s? Only one. Let's just place it here. Look at the meaning if it's make it makes sense. It also reveals the power of the pauses and noises we use to play. Makes sense. Used to play for dash used to play for dash convey in emo emotion doubt and irony play for make play for made play for using using won't make any sense play for time is the only option we are left with even though some of you are confused with why not using because we have got emotions we've got doubt we have got irony so we have to use a similar word here as well and time is the most relevant word when we compare it to other options make made and using the humorous why humorous inventive and humorous humorous is one character of human beings um there's no other word which signifies or is an adjective for people they're using language by why, what they're twisting the me message or they're twisting the dialogue for effect it also it you always use plural it also reveals and then time emotion doubt and irony so this um 
is how you solve it if you've got the right answer very well done if not please try to solve it again and see why you went wrong um, if you're going wrong continuously please make sure you focus on your grammar understand the context properly and if you have any doubt you can leave them down in the comment section let's move on to number nine the last one the second last one two minutes for this as well All right, let's have a look over here as well. The study on applications, the study dash on applications for management positions in the $45,000 to $110,000 salary dash and found means the study is already con conducted. Why? Because the next sentence in the same clause says and found. So let's have a look at a word which signifies the study has already been conducted. The study excellent, the study average on, the study richer on, the study concentrated on, the study successful or range of public concentrated. Why concentrated? Because this has already been conducted and they have also got the result. The study concentrated means focused on applications for management positions in the 45,000 to 110,000 salary what they are giving us a figure that how um, the study was conducted on how many applications they receive for management position in the 45,000 to 110,000 salary what salary average won't be the right answer because we have got two numbers over here average is also always um, is most often one one figure uh, richer salary richer is not the right answer salary range is the right answer because we have got range range means two different figures so anywhere um, the number can fall anywhere between the range. For example, if I say the class strength is 6 to 10 kids or 10, um, 6 to 10 students per class. So what is the range of the class? 6 to 10. So that is what they're talking about over here as well. The study concentrated on applications for management positions in the $45,000 to $110,000 salary range and found that women are more than men. Women are more what? more excellent na more average na more richer can be but more richer we don't really have any information about rich over here any rich um, anyone being rich over here right rich is always used with the total net, net worth we don't have any net worth over here that women are more dash than men in both private and dash sector public sector let's solve this first and then maybe we are able to figure out this better so what will be women better than men in both public and private sector more richer you'll never be richer in the public sector you'll always be more successful in your job 
because they're talking about application for management position let's say if i'm applying for a manager of a company i won't be rich manager over there i'll be a successful manager over there that is why successful will be the right answer so concentrated why because the study has already been conducted range because they have given us two figures and anywhere between this figure why successful because they're talking about job and in job you are successful not richer and then private and public sectors is the right collocation so that is how you solve it private and public sector means both privately owned and government owned right so this it was a um, bit easy one i won't say this was difficult you should be able to solve it um if you have any doubt leave them down in the comment section last passage for the day bit tricky one please read it carefully spend time understand the context and then i'll tell you how you have to solve it two minutes for this please All right, let's have a look at this one as well. What is the passage talking about? A lot of you are not really sure. Migratory beekeeping is nothing new. The ancient Egyptians dash clay hives, probably on rafts down the Nile. What is Nile? Nile is a river. How do I know that? Let's say I don't know if it's a river. They're talking about down the Nile, and Nile is capitalized, meaning it's a proper noun, so it's name of a river. And raft, raft is kind of um, not a vehicle. I'll say. kind of a boat i can say which is um driven in the water or used in the water to follow the dash and nectar dash and nectar flow as it move towards cairo in 1880s north american bee keepers dash with the same idea moving bees on dash along the mississippi and on waterways in florida but the lighter wooden hives dash falling into the water all right the egyptians dash clay hives on rafts down the nile so they're taking something on the raft down the river so what they'll do with that clay hives they will they will what they won't unlist they won't transportation they won't vehicles they won't experiment they can move something on rafts down the river they won't bloom it they won't barge it they won't kept clay hives on rafts because they're going down the nile means they're traveling we'll use the word moved over here all right they are moving clay hives probably on the rafts down the nile to follow the dash and nectar i'm not really sure about this let's come to this afterwards in 1880s north american bee keepers dash with the same idea unlisted with the same idea transportation with the same idea vehicles with the same idea won't make any sense experimented with the same idea can be the right answer because they're talking about 1880 so it should be something of a past tense or second participle 
bloom with the same idea no bloomed will make more sense kept with the same idea um if you have to use the word kept we need to have a word which signifies consistency but we don't have any word which signifies con consistency over here um we won't use kept practical with the same ideas won't make any sense let's go with experimented because they're talking about 1880s and we have to use something of a past tense here Mo all right in 1880s north american beekeepers experimented with the same idea moving bees on dash now they are again moving bees right moving bees along the mississippi river and waterways in florida how you will move something in water um bees on transportation not on transportation on transport on vehicles can be the right answer but remember this thing vehicle is a word used for on road vehicles um you'll never say i'm driving a vehicle in the water right that will not be appropriate in some context you can use it but that is not 100% correct on kept on bloom on barges on practical barges will be the right answer what are barges barges is kind of a small boat i'll say which is used to travel or which was used to travel from one place to another in the past time in the river or you, it was also used to carry load or goods from one place to another barges along the mississippi and on waterways in florida but the lighter wooden hives dash falling into the water so they were using barges to carry or to move from one place to another but what but they're contradicting something means they were not able to do it but their lighter wooden hives dash falling into the river unlisted falling won't make any sense transportation falling vehicles falling kept falling means again and again their light means light weight and wooden hive kept or kept on falling into the water again and again other keepers tried the railroad and horse drawn wagons but that didn't prove what it didn't prove what unlisted transportation vehicles from practical practical means let's say you were using boat um in the water to go from one place to another i started using railroad but it didn't work out so that's why i've used the word it didn't prove practical now we are left with one blank here the ancient egyptian moved clay hives probably on raft and down the nile to follow the dash follow the dash and nectar what is the word related with nectar nectar is word concerned or related with bees or honey and most related with flowers which is the word related with flowers not unlisted not transportation not vehicles by default we have got bloom bloom will be the right answer because um it's more related with horticulture and it's related with flowers and nectar so egyptian moved clay on rafts to follow the bloom and nectar where they can collect um where they can find bees and they can collect honey and north american beekeepers from experiment the same idea the same idea as ancient egyptians did so the north american beekeepers in 1880 is past tense experimented with the same idea as of ancient egyptians moving bees on barges barges means small boats used to carry load in the water wooden hives kept falling into the water but the lighter wooden hives kept means kept on falling into the water again and again other keepers tried the railroad and horse drawn wagons but didn't prove practical means they tried another way first of all they tried this north american book bee keepers sorry not book keepers but it wasn't successful because their mode of transport kept falling into the river again and again or into the water and other keepers tried some other way and it didn't prove practical means it didn't work out as well so these are the right answers if you have got this correct very well done now what i'll request you calculate the total you have got in these 10 blanks if you have got your accuracy around 80 85% you are doing good you are good to go if you are aiming for 79 if you are aiming for 65 if you have got your accuracy around 70% you are good to go if you are aiming for 6 or 6.5 which is 50 or 58 if you have got your accuracy around 60% you are good to go if not please make sure you practice 30 reading blanks 30 reading writing blanks if not 30 at least 25 every day to practice you just need to go on languageacademy.com.au register for free you can start practicing for free you'll get instant results and explanation which will make your journey very easy another thing which i would like to point out over here 
Um, you need to make sure along with reading blanks, you need to focus on your read alouds, your highlight incorrect words and highlight correct summary in order to maximize your score in reading. If you found this video helpful, please do let me know in the comment section. Please do like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel so that you never miss out on any video I post and so that I can help you clear your PT exam. If you want me to cover any other topic, any other doubt, any other um, problem you're facing in PT, please do let me know in the comment section and I will be more than happy to help you on that. If you want to make sure that you get your desired score, make sure you take as many mock tests on languageacademy.com.au. Thank you guys. If you ever get your score watching my videos, do let me know in the comment section. That will be the best moment for me and that is something which i work for to make sure as many as of you get your desired score and i'll keep on working for that thank you guys for from language academy this was part two of reading practice session or practice strategy videos you can say if you want me to make more of these practice series for reading or for any other um, module or any other task please do let me know and i'll try to work on that thank you guys for from language academy stay safe take care and yes, one final thing, if you need any help with online classes, on-campus classes, you can contact us anytime on the numbers given below or visit our website. We have recently opened a branch in India, Jalandhar as well. You can visit us over there or if you're in Australia, you can visit us in Sydney, Parramatta or you can call us and we will help you online as well. More than 100 students still now in the last month have got scores using our online platform and online classes. Thanks guys for Inform Language Academy. Take care. Stay safe.